Good morning everyone. This is another session on Vedic Astrology and in this video we will be learning about exaltations. So Mercury, okay, we'll be talking about exaltation of Mercury. Now Mercury gets exalted in the sign of Virgo and uh, also it's get, it gets its maximum exaltation at 15 degrees. It gets into Mool Trikona sign from 16 to 20 degrees. Okay, now first of all, what is Mercury all about? Mercury is about intelligence. Mercury is about being rational, being logical, being intelligent, okay, being research oriented, being business minded, being orate, having good oratory qualities. Okay, so Mercury is all about that. Mercury gives you very good speech. Mercury gives you uh, discretion to think properly. It gives you uh, clear thought process, a very logical thought process, mathematical thought process. It makes you interest in. Uh, it gives you interest in scientific things, scientific learnings. Okay, so that is all about Mercury. And when it comes in Virgo, Virgo is also like that. It's Virgo is perfectionist. Virgo is mathematical. Virgo is very logical and rational. So when Mercury comes in the sign of Virgo, it feels very comfortable. Okay, especially at the at 15 degrees, it attains its maximum exaltation. Okay, now what happens is that Mercury's, Mercury is a very, you know, happy and a friendly type of a planet and when it, uh, you know, but its thought process is quite, it's very fast, it does not want to think that deeply but when it comes to Virgo, when Mercury comes into the sign of Virgo, it slows down that process, it makes you think and does, does not make you impulsive, it makes you think gradually okay so you what happens is that you make a lot of logical deductions and you are not in a hurry and that's why its best outcome comes when it is in the sign of virgo especially at 15 degrees okay now apart from that it what what will it bestow you it will bestow you with brilliant mind it will give you a scientific mind it will give you average tempo okay you wouldn't get very impulsive okay you will be uh, you know uh, in a way shrewd okay uh, in a positive way apart from that it will make you very generous it can also make you very religious okay and uh, definitely what happens is that when mercury is in its or for that matter if any planet is exalted it definitely gives you some high position in life related to that planet so again when mercury is in the sign of virgo and is exalted you can expect high position in life now again this will be coming because of the qualities of mercury that is probably because of your logical deductions probably because of your publishing because virgo is or mercury is also a sign of publishing writing okay creative writing okay so you can get success through publishing also it can mean success due to your oratory qualities it can mean success because of your teaching abilities because mercury is a very good teacher as well so what happens is that when mercury is in virgo it gets exalted and you will rise to a very high position in life because of these qualities okay that is your speaking your teaching your logical ability also you can get success in scientific pursuits you might become a very good researcher okay so all these kind of things will start happening if your mercury is present in the sign of virgo now further now mercury in the sign of mercury's conjunction with venus is considered even more auspicious okay because mercury and venus are considered uh, very good friends and whenever these two come together and also mercury is in an exaltation state then this is a very good match in this case the person will not uh, only have the oratory quality but venus refineness venus uh, ability to be very refined uh, being very musical everything gets mixed with mercury's brilliancy and mercury's brilliant mind so again even if mercury is exalted in virgo and further it's in conjunct with venus this will even increase the auspiciousness of this formation now mercury in virgo what else it will do is it will give you you know uh, a very good uh, you know rational thought process but again you have to understand that this uh, you know combination starts giving result after the age of 30 or 32 ish because mercury attains its maturity at that age so what will happen is that you will gradually become rational okay you will gradually become scientific as you become as you start reaching your 30s and so then you will become start becoming rational as you start reaching that age you will start become more and more brilliant 
Okay, so because Mercury gives its best results at the age of 30 and 32, so whenever it gets exalted, don't expect as a, you know, as a childhood, you will get a lot of good results. It will give you gradually. Mercury matures at the age of 30 and 32, and that's when you can expect the maximum results also to come in. Now, also it's important to understand Mercury is in the sign of Virgo, that is fine, but in which house that will further tell you in which direction of life you will get success. For example, let's say Mercury is in the sign of Virgo in the fourth house, okay. This can mean in your family life, okay. You might get very good family support. It might mean that you have a lot of land properties. It might mean that because of your home's environment, you got a lot of success. Okay, so things like that. Also, let's say if it is in the sign uh, in the seven thousand, it will mean because success due to your wife, because of your business, uh, foreign business, because seven thousand also represents foreign business. So that's how the presence of the Mercury in the sign of Virgo in different houses will tell you in which sector of life you will do well. Further, Mercury uh, in Virgo would mean success in being rational, logical, and very intelligent, and that will be used in which house sector will depend upon where. Mercury in the sign of Virgo is present in which house. So hopefully in this video you got an insight as to how uh, Mercury in the sign of Virgo works. We'll be going into more detailing into the further videos. For now these are just the basics. I'm Shwetank into Astrology. Do check my channel for more. Thank you. Take care. Have a great day. Bye-bye.